We use binary in math and computer electronics, but how does it work? Silver Army Dogs here again with another video, and today I'm going to be explaining how binary works. Binary is a base 2 numeral programming system that typically is represented by ones and zeros. First, we have to understand some vocabulary terms. If you have one digit, it's called a bit. The bit can either be a one or a zero. Computers can determine if a bit will be a one or a zero using logic gates. Eight bits make something we call a byte, and bytes are important because that's how we can store letters and other characters. Reading binary is actually really quite simple. Let's look at a byte, and for now, let's ignore the last last four bit. By the way, you read a byte going from right to left. The first bit is a 1, the second bit and third bit is a 0, and the fourth bit is a 1. When the first bit is turned on, or is a 1, it represents a 1. When the second bit is on, it represents a 2. When the third bit is on, it represents a 4. And when the fourth bit is on, it represents an 8. So if we have a 1, we look at the first bit, which represents a 1 on, and the fourth bit, which represents a 8 on, and we can add up 1 plus 8, and we get a 9. So if we have have a 1, we look at what the bit represents. If it's a 0, just ignore the digit. Remember the last four bits we ignored? Well, now we can look at them. Those four bits represent what type of character the binary is representing. For example, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. The last bits has a pattern which you have to memorize or have a chart to look at to be able to understand. There are a few important ones that you should memorize. A few to memorize is 0011, which almost always equals numbers, 0100, which is capital letters, A through O, 0101 is capital letters P through Z, 0110 is lowercase letters A through O, and 0111 is lowercase letters P through Z. Since in our example the last four digits of our byte is 0100, it means it's a capital letter. Now all we have to do is know the ninth letter in the alphabet, which happens to be I, and now we know what this bit represents in our example. Let's try another bit. This time the byte is 0110011. The answer is lowercase c. If you got that right, good job. If you didn't, no worries. Just pay close attention on how we got lowercase c. The first four bits is 0011. We know the bits that it's representing is a 2 and a 1. Now you have to add up 2 and 1, and you get 3. The last four bits tell you it's a lowercase letter, so all we simply had to do is count three letters in the alphabet. Since c is the third letter in the alphabet, this byte represents the lowercase c. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully you learned a lot from this video and can impress all your friends now that you know binary. If you enjoyed watching this video, please drop a like and also subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.